Good morning, it's Tuesday, it's half past seven. Tuesday is to this week's worky work day instead of tomorrow. Last night I drafted these 15, today I need to work through the rest of that. Onwards, ever onwards. <laughs> it's nearly all done. I've got these two things left to um, list and then I've got to take that grater downstairs and give it a good clean and I can't list the camera until I can find a battery charger to see if it works but everything else is drafted huge pile of stuff that's drafted there waiting for photographs and friend mail has just arrived from Dodo and Davy. Dodo says um, just a wee book for your mother hopefully she can use it and a packet of treats for the for the babies <laughs> hope you're all keeping rightly be good take care Davy and Dodo so a lovely little crochet book for mum that's really lovely, isn't it? I wonder if mum can get on board with that. She's she's a bit kind of, oh, this is the pattern I know how to do. So maybe she'll, um, yeah, maybe she'll learn to do something different. <laughs> and some lovely treats for the boys, which they will be, well, the boys and Molly, they'll be delighted because actually their treats have run out. And she sent um, ones for sensitive tummies, which is good, because we think Buddy might have a little bit of a tummy issue, which might be why he wasn't well the other day. And then she's also sent this lovely book, called search dogs and me and in the little card for this one this was a separate card she said um hi carlo i got your copy of this book we used to work with animal rescue as i said before neil helped with neil is the author of the book neil helped with training he also trains medical alert dogs you can sell or pass the book on when you are done take care from dodo and it looks like a lovely book so um i'm looking forward to reading that although i think i might cry 
because it looks like there might be bits in there that make me cry. <laughs> thank you so much, Dodo. You are so very generous and, and thank you very much indeed. I'm going to find the dog. Dogs are in the garden. I'm going to find them and see if they need a treat. I'm sure they do. It's half past two. I have finished all my work. I have drafted, listed, photographed, scheduled bagged and tagged the only thing left to do is put away they're all scheduled and ready to go live i've now got scheduled listings right up to the 7th of may which makes me a happy carla and everything that i bought at this weekend at car boot sale is now listed so i am on it i am so on it um just need to tidy up in here a bit and then today's work is done yay oh what's that weird i have a hair horn it is um eight o'clock and i basically forgot i was, vlog I was vlogging today um, nat and i went to the pub and had dinner and saw tammy and um went and paid the vet's bill and um and yeah i forgot i was vlogging so um buddy by the way has had a checkup and is okay they can't find anything wrong with him i think it might just have been like a bit of constipation or something he was farting for england so maybe he had a bit of constipation pain apparently dogs can tremble when they're in pain which i didn't realize i thought trembling was fear or or something but yeah apparently can be also pain so sorry I've got dog hair in my mouth so yeah he's okay um seems okay and, and yeah they couldn't find anything drastic to worry about there so I don't know why I'm whispering because it's not like he can understand me <laughs> like when you're talking about a patient behind their back but yeah um so we are we're home I'm about to ring my mother the alarm to ring my mother's gonna go off any second now I don't need reminded to ring my mother I need reminding that I have to ring my mother at a decent time otherwise she's gone to bed when i try and ring her she keeps even earlier hours than i do so yeah i am um seeing caroline tomorrow I'm very excited about that i'm just going to go back and check what time we said and um i will see you guys tomorrow as well good night good morning on wednesday it's uh it's five to seven i've been up i've had a shower i've washed my hair i really need to dye it look at that line of gray oh dear i have just put my eyebrow tint on if you're thinking, why do our eyebrows look so weird? I've got eyebrow tint on. So while that's baking, I'm going to do my parcels. I have four to do. And then I'm going to wipe that off, walk the dogs, make breakfast. And then it'd be time to go see Caroline. Yay! Right. Told you, yet another lie on this channel. There's five, not four. So I have sold these Oscar ladies 100% linen trousers. They were a sack item. Cost me less than 50p. They have gone for £40 plus postage. Always a good brand to look out for resellers. If you don't know already, I'm sure you do. Oscar. I have sold these manta ray grey linen blend summer trousers. It's definitely summer trousers sale season. They have gone for £10 plus postage. I have sold this Anne Harvey 100% silk floral floaty top. That has gone to a viewer. Thank you, viewer. You know who you are. Um, that's gone for £16.99 plus post. I've sold this Ted Baker lipstick and nail polish set. This came... From the, I remember buying it from the car boot sale and then it's come out of my death pile when I was listing a couple of weeks ago. So I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I know it wouldn't have been a great deal. That's gone for £4.99 plus post. And then I sold this Made in Italy khaki green lightweight top, also a sack item, and that has gone for £11 plus post. So um, those are the five that I'm about to parcel up. Oh, and I made these last night. Well, I didn't make the canisters, you know, I'm not... um not canisters are ours but i made these labels last night natalie helped me on her cricket for my protein world mug cake so that's why they're sitting there they've got to go downstairs and be um be filled up and put away i'm gonna do my parcels
Good morning. Again, I've already said good morning on Wednesday, haven't I? This is the tree that came down when we had those storms. And uh, I don't know whether the council came and chopped it or whether somebody else did, but either way, it hasn't been taken away. And I'm wondering if it's possible to get my strong son and his mates up to kind of turn it round so that we could sit across it. You know, not, not all of us sit across it together. What I mean is there are no... There's no park benches in this park at all. If they could pull it so that it went across there, it would make quite a nice place to sit, is what I'm trying to say. But I don't know whether I'm just... Uh, whether my son would just tell me to be ridiculous, Mother. Maybe. Anyway, morning walk time. Going to be a lovely day for my day with Caroline. I hope We're hoping... I'm hoping, I'm sure Caroline's hoping too, for decent weather but not too hot. Which sounds ridiculous, doesn't it, in late April, that you're saying, oh, not too hot, but you know what I mean, if you're going to be shopping. The thing is that in April, I'm going to turn the camera around. In April, a lot of the shops have still got their heating on because they haven't actually, you know, adjusted to new temperatures yet. Which means if you come in from outside, you can often walk into a, a swelter zone. <laughs> anyway, morning walk, and then home for breakfast, and then off to see Caroline. Mm. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. Stop to the motorway services to uh, have a wee and get a drink. I'm always struck by the odd things they sell in motorway services. Now, who has ever gone to a WH Smith on the motorway and thought, I know what I need? While I'm here, I'll just buy a motion sensor security light. I mean, what? What on earth? Why? Why are you here? What? You know? Why? Why are they here? Why? Why are they here? I'm confused. My my oozle is confused. Look at the beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. Look, it's Caroline! Say hello to the waffle! Hello, waffle! Hello. You've already costed! I'm what? You've already costed! Yeah, I got here a bit <laughs> early, so I went and come. Caroline's in the St. Margaret's Hospice. I don't expect her to pop out any moment, unless she popped out where I wasn't looking, in which case she's halfway down the high street and I didn't see her go. <laughs> I've just got a handbag for £4.50 and a mug for 50p. That's my, uh, my shopping from there so far. And we're off down there in a minute. Dawn asked me to film B if she was in the window of Kemp's, but unfortunately, Dawn, I'm assuming she's not in there. <laughs> Caroline's shopping. <laughs> I'm outside getting air. You can only wear the mask for so long before it becomes too long. Good morning. It's, uh, it's Thursday. It's about half past seven. I've been up about an hour. I'm just doing my sales going out. Really, God, state that. Must put hair dye on this weekend at some point. It's only Thursday. Must put hair dye on tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm walking the dogs in a minute. I'm just doing my sales going out. So I thought I'd show you what's going out. And, um, and yeah, on with Thursday. First up then, this new look black and pink polka dot print play suit has gone for a massive five pounds that is old stock the background on this photograph is from the office i've been back here for 18 months so that's a little old piece of stock that's gone out for a fiver plus post then another piece of old stock this is a style by edinburgh woolen mill brown faux suede suede oh, suede brown faux suede flared skirt and waistcoat it's got quite a nice thing if you're into that kind of thing um, but it's been hanging around for a long time because I suppose it's not the latest fashion and that has finally gone out for £6 plus postage. These two have gone to one buyer. So there's a next large Indian cotton Killing Star scarf and a two blue and white striped top and they've gone to the same buyer. So I need to do a postage refund for some of the difference on that. Um, this George comforter has gone for £4.72 472 so I must have done a 10% or something on that one maybe even a 15 or 25 at one point I reduced a lot of comforters so 472 for that one plus postage I will have paid pennies I will have paid 50p at most for that so little bundle of costume jewellery 
Um, it's all rose gold, and I think there's two pairs of earrings, two necklaces. That's it, two pairs of earrings, two necklaces. That has gone for three seventy five. It really is only costume jewellery. It came in a pile of stuff in the car boot. It came for the Trench Lane car boot. I remember looking at it in the car. I did a haul in the car with, with Josh and Ali, I think. And so, bear in mind, Trench Lane car boot didn't even happen last year. That's um, probably been in stock almost two years. It's got a molly hair. There we go, I've got that. Yeah, probably been stock almost two years, so 375 plus post is fine for that. I've got a Bowden chocolate brown corduroy skirt, which has gone for 16.99 plus post. These, oh, sorry, the, I should have said the costume jewellery is going out to a viewer, so thank you very much, Tina. I hope you like it when it gets to you. And also to a viewer are these George Blue pinstriped knee length jeans shorts they're going out to katie so thank you again katie they're going out for nine pound plus postage and finally this mns autograph denim dark wash skirt i put the word denim in the title twice i just realized um that has gone for 12 pounds plus postage so i'm going to do my parcels and then i'm going to walk the dogs hello i've received another lovely box of clothes to resell from Catherine mcconnell i'm about to have a look and see what she sent me so i thought i'd show you guys there is a Peruna cardigan shruggy shruggy muck thing it's got a it's a tie front isn't it I think it's a tie front it's either a tie front or a handkerchief hem I'll have a proper look in a minute there's a thing in it oh look there's some a ball gown where's that from BHS right it's a drive made isn't it it's not a ball gown look at me but who goes to balls you can tell I've been listening to Jane Austen recently. Everybody's going to a ball. Right, made glass. That's nice. That's linen uh, from Next. Next SP. Is that the petite range, the SP? I'm not sure. But anyway, Next XP linen dress. That would go well. It's summer after all. People are buying linen. Uh, River Island sequined skirt. And hopefully nightclubs and things will be opening soon, won't they? I'm not, not I don't want I don't want to go to a nightclub, but people do. That is a little wrap dress with a sash belt. A papaya blouse. Again, nice summer fabrics. Peruna pin pleat skirt. Again, linen blend. Summery fabrics for the win. Linen cotton blend, this one. You can tell when you pick it up. That's Wallace. I reuse all these bags, by the way. Anybody who's seen me taking stuff out of bags, I will reuse them when I repack. Saving your planet. Uh, Dorothy Perkins denim skirt. Denim skirts are selling really well at the moment. A dog, another dog. They weren't in the box, but they might be. A Lorenz gold bag. Guys, go away. It's not for you. A Lara Duke cardigan. This is a UK 18 to 20. Oh, look, a... Uh, I was going to say Luke Skywalker. That's not Luke Skywalker. What's the woman called with the donut hair? Princess Leia. Princess Leia, not new. Princess Leia. Can you tell I've never seen Star Wars? <laughs> Princess Leia. It's Carrie Fisher. I knew that much. A next strappy dress. Some white stuff. I thought there were shorts. No, it's a white stuff skirt. That's quite a pretty print, actually. Look, it's uh, parrots in the jungle and birds of paradise. I'm not sure where that one's from. No neck label in that one. Episode. Where's episode? I don't know where episode's from. A monsoon heavy knit winter weight dress. That's really quite heavy. You'd know you were wearing that. Another monsoon. This one is a half wrap. Black half wrap dress. I hope you're getting a good look at these by the way. I'm trying to hold it in the camera. Polo neck, sleeveless, apricot, skater dress. This looks familiar. I think I've sold one of these before. Isle, that's sold at Edinburgh Woolen Mill, isn't it, Isle? Another linen blend skirt. This one's BHS. Essentials. That label looks familiar, and yet I don't know where it's from. It looks like a vintage label. Size 16, it's viscous. Viscous. Yeah, essentials. Cotton. Uh, viscous, not cotton. Flowery summer skirt. Laura Ashley. That's an old label, look. Vintage Laura Ashley label, Jacquard skirt, a soon dress, that's a maxi, maxi jersey dress, a uh, Charles Tirrett skirt, a uh, skirt, shirt even, I can't say shirt, a uh, Peruna Spezial I think that is, oh no it's not, it's not a Spezial, I beg your pardon, 
Haruna linen jacket again. Good timing for that one. Uh, Debna's petite collection jacket. A pink super dry lighter weight hoodie, uh, not hoodie, um, jacket. Double black label. That's really quite nice. It's a large. I like that. Don't fit me. I have to be a lot larger than a large before it goes near me. A Winsmore jacket. That looks like the kind of thing that would be possibly worn over this. I wonder if this is the same brand. Yes, it is. So there you go. That's a, a jacket and jacket and dress set for a wedding or whatever. There we go. That's quite nice as well. Hopefully weddings will be happening again this year. I mean, I know people still got married last year, but you know, things were done on a much smaller scale last year, weren't they? So hopefully people will be having nice weddings again. Classics, edge to edge jacket, coast silk dress. Don't know, that's a catalogue brand, that one, by the look of it. Purple slinky trues, trousers. Jacques Vert, Jacques Vert, Jacques Vert jacket. A skirt. Skirt is not French. Nor, nor is jacket for that matter. Nor is my accent. <laughs> a tailored by next ladies jacket. Workwear, office wear kind of thing. Princess Cruises jacket. I didn't even know Princess Cruises did their own uh, clothing line. And last two. I'm not going to open this one. It says Marvel Avengers Men's T-Shirt, Age of Ultron. Green. There we go. That's what that one is. And this one is Vintage m &S Trousers. Hang on. Let's, let's put you up. Bear with. Oh, you're wonky. There we go. Thank you so much, Catherine. Excuse my hair. That's a bit windblown from the walk this morning. Thank you so much. Um, very gratefully received. And uh, no excuse for not listing, have I? Plenty of stock again. <laughs> I had actually worked my way through my entire death pile, so I'm very glad to see this. Thank you. <laughs> We're at the pub again. Lunch out with mother. Mother's got her. What did you say there? Japanese to Japanese tourist sunglasses. Is that what you call them? Yeah. Natalie says she's got Japanese tourist thing. sunglasses because they're the kind that flip up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clip on and flip up. <laughs> Apparently Japanese tourists wear them. Oh, Hi, Joe. Chinese tourists. <laughs> Joe's got his summer trousers on. Yeah. Nice. I haven't got time to record a full show. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm going to go get my speaker set. <laughs> yeah, Molly's here and we're just waiting for food. There's no food on this table. No, there's not. And I must admit, I'm getting peckish now. Yeah, she's just start causing a riot. She's trouble. D Japanese tourist trouble. <laughs> Good morning. It is um, about 10 to 8. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. It's about 10 to 8. Molly and I are awake. We are just having a bit of a lolly in, aren't we, Peg? Yeah, we have a snug and drink a dress great lolly. Um, I've got to get up in a bit and film a video. I've got to film a video. Not this one. I mean, another video. And uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, I am just in the middle of tidying my bedroom and I've come to the conclusion that I have to give up on this book. If you watch The Waffle regularly... You'll know that I tried to start this book once before and I tried to start it again a few weeks ago, literally probably about three weeks ago, maybe. I've got that far. I can read a book in a day if I'm enjoying it. It's taken me three weeks to get... I just I just can't get on with this bloke. I don't know. I mean, the Daily Express reviewer said it was charming and beguiling. And I find him so full of his own cleverness. So... So it's, it's a wartime diary. It's a genuine diary of a genuine person who is no longer around. So I feel um, I feel that I won't be offending him by saying this because he won't be around to hear it. But he's just so, yeah, I don't know. Right, here's an example. During this long trip to Leeds, I seized the opportunity to delve for a while further into Dries's Thoreau. Strong meat but wholesome. And so, by a lucky chance, one drifts away from the world that is too much with us, a world leprous with malevolent lust of power and spite, mendacious and beastly, to make it the larger and more beautiful world, a retreat, private and boundless. And so, lest suppression of spiritual emotion atrophies the soul, one must retreat to the cloistered seclusion of one's own making. One's inner self is one's special preserve. Well, I get it. He's saying, you know, I was able to lose myself in a book. But lose myself in a book does not need to be said in such a 
I don't know. I lose myself in a book often, but I don't. Maybe maybe I just don't appreciate wordliness. wordliness. But it feels like he's. It feels like reading a thesaurus, to be honest. So I'm abandoning. I'm abandoning the world of Uncle Walter, and I'm going to choose myself something. Di- well, not going to choose. I'm going to get a random one out of the box. Ready? Okay. Have I got one or two? I've got one. I think we are getting. Nigel by Monty Don. Oh dear. I say oh dear. I say oh dear because it's about his dog and it's bound to make me cry, isn't it? (laughs) Still, hopefully I'll enjoy it more than this one, which has been thrown in a heap next to a dirty sock as 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 a punishment. We've had lunch. We're going to have an exciting trip to Macro, yeah? Yeah. Because we know how to live. It is. We do know how to rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like being on holiday here, apart from all the work and the same old people and, and all the English language around you. Actually, there's quite a lot of English language around you on holiday. Yeah. Especially if you go to Japan. Yeah. English, James. <laughs> tell you that story one day. Hello. I am a bit puzzled. It is five o'clock, by the way, and we're home. I didn't film anything in the macro because macro is not interesting. And I only bought butter portions and strawberries. Oh, and dog food. Um, I just had a text message saying your delivery from A to Z Rugs is due on so-and-so date. Um, click here to manage this way. Now, I haven't clicked it because I was like, I don't think I'm expecting a rug. I don't think I've ordered a rug. And now I'm really puzzled as to what might be coming, if anything's coming, if it's not a scam. So... Watch this space in case an unexpected rug arrives or something else that A to Z rugs sell that they haven't done right. I've Googled A to Z rugs and there are a place that sells on Amazon, but I haven't ordered I haven't ordered a rug. It's a mystery. So it turned out this was a scam. I can't show you the original text message I received because I deleted it and blocked the number. But it, I had a message from three, which I'm showing you on the screen now, to say that it was a scam and not to click on any links. And when I clicked through to the three website to have a look at the scam details, it said if you hadn't clicked on anything, you were OK. But if you had clicked on the links, then your um, bank accounts are probably going to com- be p- compromised. including this information here in case any of you received this text message or something similar and clicked on any links and yet haven't had this notification from your network provider it says that all networks have been attacked by this and there's information there about what you should do if you have clicked on any of these links I say it's five o'clock. I have sorted out some of my clothes that don't fit today and added them to my new death pile that I'm growing. 
Um, I've just finished editing a video, um, which I should have done this morning. But with all the, did I tell? I haven't told you, have I? I had a faff. Sorry, I had a faff this morning. So. I have um, prepayment meters for my gas and electricity. I had them years and years and years, long, long since I before, you know, basically all my adult life I've had prepayment meters. And the company I'm with recently decided they were going to change their app and they were having a new app that you had to top up with. I've topped up on the old app quite satisfactorily for several years, but they decided they were upgrading. And backstory, last year I lost access to one of my email addresses. And it turns out the email address that, that the power company have got is the one that I can't access. So when they sent all the bump through for me to download the new app, they sent it to my old email address. I didn't get it and didn't know anything about it. Didn't know anything today until the power went off. I was like, oh, gas and electric must have run out. That's very strange. I, you know, I normally get a warning. They normally let me know. Went to log into the app. Can't log in. Can't do anything without the new app. Can't get the new app because I don't have the links that have been sent to the old email that I can't access. Had to ring them up, had to sit on hold for a very long time, a very, very long time, by which time I'm in a bad mood because I'm sitting here with no power on. I can't do anything in the meantime. I can't, normally if you're on hold, you carry on working or whatever. No, can't work, can't do anything at all. Um, and I'm thinking, I've got two freezers full of food that are defrosting down there and it's a good job. And you know when you start thinking, it's a good job we don't have any medical appliances in this house that have to be kept all the time. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> got myself into a proper, proper rage about it, a proper angry customer. And then finally got through to a lady who said, oh, it's no problem. I'll email them the things across again. And I was like, no, I don't think you've understood me at all. You don't have the right email. Oh, well, I don't know how to change. So it, it took a while. And then even after I got the new app downloaded, it wouldn't let me top up my electric. So I had to go to the shop and do it. And then only the electric would work and not the gas. So I still can't top up my gas. So I'm still going to have to ring them again. <sighs> I was angry by the time I'd finished, so I went out for lunch with Tammy instead of doing anything else, which is why I've only just finished the video I was editing today. But it is done. It is currently um, uploading to YouTube, and I think that's me done for today. Even though I haven't done much. I've done three loads of laundry and tidy my bedroom and stuff, but I think that's me done. I think that's it. Early night again. Car boot tomorrow if the weather's nice. Just invited Josh. He's up for it. So, um, yeah, if the weather's nice, car boot, which means I need to get up early and do some listings tomorrow, because tomorrow is supposed to be a listing day. Early. I might set myself a, a goal to do two hours or something. Maybe if maybe I could get up at seven, list until half nine, take the dogs out until ten, come back and have breakfast in time for Josh to get here for us to go. That might work. Give myself two and a half hours. I mean, if I get up before seven, that's a win, isn't it? But give myself a solid two and a half hours listening. I can get quite a lot done in that if I crack on. Yes, yes, that's my plan. That also means I don't have to work tonight. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. That bit doing its own thing today. What the heck? Can't even get it. Right. It's quarter past six on Saturday morning and I am up. I'm not sure I'm alive, but I'm up. I did actually do these 10 last night in the end, so I've only got that bag to work through. I've got some bags of clothes that I sorted out of my own to deal with and the stuff that Cass sent me earlier in the week. But not too much pressure this morning to get stuff done. So I'm going to work for three hours or so. I haven't got a walk dog, Anthony's on the morning dog walk after all. So I'm going to work for three hours or so, hope to see how much I can get done before going to the car boot with Josh. Well, it's 20 past nine, I've just finished. It's all, I did 29 listings. Oh. I really do need to do my hair. 29 listings. They are drafted, photoed, bag tagged, scheduled, all done. I just got to put them away, which I'm going to do next. I've got seven minutes to do that before my deadline of half past nine when I'm going for breakfast. And I say going for breakfast, I mean downstairs. I don't mean I'm going out for breakfast. But I'm really pleased. I've got everything done in the time schedule that I wanted to get it done. And now I can go out today to the car boot sale with a clear conscience. Josh and I have been to the car boot. Not only did we not get much, but look at the sodding queue to get out. We're going to be here for hours. <laughs> and it doesn't, that's not the end, over there. That's, that's not the not end. The end. No, it that's, a, on that's only double. halfway. And look at this smart ass going around me. Hello? It's a queue. Right, let's have a riot, Josh. Are you any good at rioting? <laughs> Josh isn't very good at rioting, apparently. I'll teach you. Well, I'm back from the boot sale. I thought I'd show you what I've got. There isn't enough to make a whole video about it today. It was very poor pickings today, even though it was a big boot sale. I got, for £2, I got this little bundle. So this is a Stratton powder compact. 
and then I've got two pairs of Fish and Crown Closone earrings and one pair of Monet Mother of Pearl earrings for two quid for all of that. So that was a good buy. I paid two pounds for this um, vintage 1980s cassette case. I paid one pound fifty for this Past the Pigs. I got these for free. This is a pair of Nike Cortez um, running shoes. And you don't see Cortez very often. They're a bit outdated now, but they are the, one of the most comfortable shoes that my, Nike have ever made, in my opinion. And I said to the guy, how much are those? He went, you can have them. And I was like, no, seriously, how much you want? He was like, I'm serious, you can have them. So I did. So they need some cleanup. They're grubby, they're bobbly inside. They need some cleanup, but they're actually in fairly good condition. There's a little bit of wear to the back of the heel. Apart from that, in good nick. So once they've been cleaned up, they'll be good to go. I got this little Dartington Crystal Bambino vase in its box for £2. I got also in a box a Dudu et Compagnie uh, comforter for £1. This one was 50p, I believe. Why am I not? I think it was 50p. There's a little bit, another baby comforter, brand new with its tags. I've told you the past the pigs. I got these um, Best Way Flow Clear pool filters or hot tub filters. I think they're pool filters for 50p. Um, I've sold those before and done okay with them. I can't remember how much. Not, not a huge amount, but when you get them for 50p, it's not bad. And then I got a Kipling handbag. This is a Kianga, Kipling Kianga bag, and that was £3. And apart from some T-shirts for next door neighbour, which um, are not, nothing to do with the haul, that's all I got. So, yes, yeah, small pickings today, despite the fact it was a huge boot sale. But still, it's always worth going because you never know when the day is that you're going to find the, the Van Gogh or the or the, I don't know, or something worth a million pounds. <laughs> so it's evening walk time. There's Moo. There's the boys investigating something in the hedge which probably isn't edible. Well, not, you know, not nice. And Natalie's with me, look. And we're not really walking, to be honest. I mean, this is, this is, this is not our walking looks. This is just sitting, but it's too hot. Yeah, I've got a massive hand, yeah. It's not too hot, I mean, I didn't complain about the heat, but it's too hot to go marching around and the dogs are quite happily pottering, so and eating stuff they shouldn't be. Oh, I'm thinking Don't kill a dog. Failed! <laughs> 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 Hello on Sunday. It is quarter to one. It's the first time I've vlogged. Oh, no, get the job done um, I got up this morning, went to the car with Josh, had breakfast with Josh, came back and did my live stream. I just put the pork joint in for dinner. <laughs> Gonna have to clean the oven at some point because I put the pork joint in and obviously you put it on a high heat to start with so that it'll Chris put the outside, then you turn it down. So I put it on the high heat for 20 minutes, went upstairs, came back downstairs 20 minutes later, and the whole house is full of smoke because the oven's so filthy. So I've just had to open the back and front doors to clear the smoke out. <laughs> Need to clean the oven. Bought oven cleaning stuff a couple of weeks ago at Home Morgans, but haven't done it. Nobody enjoys cleaning the oven, do they? I know people who buy a new oven rather than clean it, genuinely. Um, I'm not those people. <laughs> So yeah, we're just off to pick up Mum. It's very warm in the car. We let Molly have some air before she expires. And uh, it's 19 degrees again today, apparently. Um, Anthony said that there was, I can't keep saying, um, Anthony said there was supposed to be another week of this weather. Josh said only three days. Either way, making the most of it, enjoying the sunshine. Wearing too much clothing today because I've got my 6 a.m. clothing on and it's now not 6 a.m. time. Rambling. Anyway, off to pick up Mum. Do a roast pork dinner. That's it. That's all there is to tell you. What have I got planned for next week? I haven't bought my bra yet. That was the exciting thing that was going to happen this week and I haven't done it. So next week. Tomorrow is Monday. Sorry, awkward junction. Bear with. Oh, why have you stopped me? An absolute spoon. If she'd gone instead of stopping when there was a perfectly big gap for her to go in, I would have gone. Never mind, I'm going now. Um, 
Monday is video editing day, so I won't do anything exciting tomorrow apart from edit videos. Tuesday, I'm going into town with Tammy and we're going to yours clothing and I'm going to get a bra. At least I hope I'm going to get a bra. Wednesday will be a worky work day. Thursday will be mother. And Friday, I think, I am going to go see Caroline again. I think Caroline and I have got plans for Friday. So, yeah, that's, um, that's this week, I think, coming up. Whether you'll see any more of me today. Maybe I'll show you my roast dinner if it goes well. Maybe I'll show you my roast dinner if it doesn't go well, because that'll be just as entertaining. <laughs> see you in a bit. Well, who's a rubbish vlogger then? That would be me. I haven't vlogged anything all afternoon. Um, Mum's gone off to church and she will be brought back from church to me about quarter past half past eight and then I'll take her home. It's a, it's a kind of a, a relaying mum to church situation we've got going on. Um, so I can't, so I'm not going to bed. I'm waiting up for, I'm, I know that sounds really early. People go, why would you go to bed at half past seven? I frequently do. But yeah, I'm waiting up for mum so that I can take her home. And um, I thought I would show you some stuff I picked up free today from people leaving stuff outside their houses with a sign saying, please take me. Um, I've actually got a box of cookery books outside my house at the moment and somebody took some today, so that was good. But I thought I'd show you what I got today. Ready? I got some Merrill sandals. They're a little bit scuffed here on the toe, but apart from that, they're in fairly good nick. Might try popping them through the washing machine because I believe you can wash Merrills without too much, too much fear because they're mostly rubberized. So yeah, they were, they were free. All of this was free. I got these Faith sandals. Um, they're in pretty good nick. Um, I got this dress. It's a brand called Soaked in Luxury, which I've never heard of. But um, it looked really nice. I've just had a quick look and it doesn't seem to be a very high-end brand or not going for high-end prices. It feels like it might be silk. I'm just trying to look at the label. Hang on, bear with, bear with, bear with. It's 100% polyester, but it's still a very pretty summer dress. So, and all, they're not bad for free. And then I got this white broderie anglaise top. It's only dotty peas, but um, broderie anglaise is always popular in the summer months. And this was, um, I think, the find of the day. Oh, I got a little necklace. I'll show you that in a sec. But I think this was the find of the day. This is a Catmate automatic feeder, and these go for 20 to £25. I cleaned it up because it was pretty grubby. It had obviously been in somebody's garage. It was a bit cobweb and webby and whatever. But it's cleaned up nicely, and um, yeah, 20 to 25 quid on that. And I also picked up this tiny little necklace because I hoped it might be silver, but on closer inspection, it, I don't think it is. I can't find any markings. But um, just a pretty little, pretty little necklace. So yeah, there we go. That's what I um that's what I got for nothing today, just from outside people's houses. And quite a nice little drawer unit which is downstairs and needs a little bit of TLC, so I'll show you that maybe in the week. This happened today. I hit six thousand subscribers. Thank you very much if you are subscribed. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe because you know, on the road to 7k now. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday morning editing Carla, complete with hair dye. Just realised I didn't say goodnight to last night's waffle, so here I am saying goodnight to last night's waffle and goodbye to last week's waffle, and I'll see you next week with another waffle. Too much waffling. Take care. Bye for now.